For cheap and reliable coins, check out the brand new sponsor, FIFACoinsale.com. Don't forget to use the code CURTIS for your 5% off. And I mean it, lads. Cheap prices. Don't believe me? Go and check them out for yourself. Big up YouTube, it's your boy, Factor 7, here for another episode of The 7 Show. Yes, lads, we are finally back. We got interrupted from internationals and personal things going on, but yes, the show is still going on and it's proudly sponsors, new sponsors to the show, lads, at FIFACoinsale.com. Make sure you go there to check out your Ultimate Team coins, very cheap and reliable. Anyways, lads, my co-hosts return we got Christopher here. Say hello to the people. How you going, everybody? Welcome back. Yes, and we've got Edgar here. Go check him out on his YouTube channel, which you can find in the link in the description. Yeah, what's happening, everyone? Good yes. to be back. It is, isn't it, lads? Seven boys are back, huh? Yes, mm. Premier League's back. We're back. And, uh, man, I hate internationals. It's the yeah. worst, man. It just breaks up everything. You get excited. You get on a bit of a roll of the Premier League, and then, bang, internationals. It's but, like, oh. But that's it for the year, so we can... Uh, Relax for a bit. Get your comments down below, all right? I just want to—I want to know personally, okay? Do you like internationals? Simple, no. yes <laughs> or no? I'm voting no. No, nah, man. You vote no. I love watching. Nah. I love watching Australia, but come on. Yeah, exactly. Come on, it's not the they should have like a little tournament at the end of the season, yeah. like a, a mini World Cup, and those teams qualify for the World Cup, and then that's it. Just keep it out of the season. Yeah. Alright, but that's like 12 months of football, for sorry for <laughs> <Bad>. the players. <laughs> anyways, anyways, lads, let's get on to the Premier League. That's what we are about yes. on the 7 show. Lads, let's talk about results uh, this morning, or yesterday where you're watching this. Manchester United defeated Stoke 2-1 at Old Trafford. Good win, Edgar. Good win for the lads. Definitely, man. Um, you know, it's a game that we're expected to be winning, but you know, nowadays it's not so easy, man. So, um, you know, a 2-1 win against Stoke's pretty good, I reckon. Yeah, I th considering the team we had. Yeah, yeah, we were just talking about that. It was um quite an average lineup compared to your yeah. vintage United teams, but mate, we got the job done, didn't we? We'll we'll talk more about that in a second. Yeah. And Liverpool got to win, Chris, back to winning ways. Now that's two wins in a row. That's, yeah, it's been a while since that's happened. <laughs> yeah, I was not confident this morning. I have not been confident for about a month now with Liverpool <laughs> games, but um, yeah. pretty happy that just one win takes you about five spots up the table cause yeah, it's, it's crazy now man ah, yeah because we're so early in the season but yeah Burnley grabbing a point off Newcastle yeah. at Turf Moor bit surprising I called that one mate um, oh did you yeah um, I don't know man like like we said before just Newcastle they were quite similar to Stoke just don't know what you're going to get on the day and um, it's just yeah. typical Alan Pardew oh, absolutely man. Alan Pardew he'll get you five six wins in a row build up your hopes and then bang 10 losses in a row. Absolutely. Hashtag Padre out. <laughs> That's just the way it is at St. James' Hell Park. Yeah. But uh, other results, Swansea getting another win, yeah. uh, this time over QPR. That was a, a decent win. And yeah. they seem to be in good form. Yeah, Wilfried Bonnie as well, mate. He's carrying them, killing them. Mate, he is like... That, you... that celebration thing, that's how you seen it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I heard he... I, said, I, I heard a fact today uh, that Wilfred Bonnie in the Premier League for strikers scored the most goals in 2014. Really? Yeah, so some crazy fact like that. Wilfred. Yeah, the striker. Because I heard Gerard scored the most Premier League player. But second, I think, of you know, was uh, Wilfred Boney. Right. Interesting fact. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. Yeah. Um, Crystal Palace losing to Villa. Yeah, Villa finally um, getting something going Now, let's talk once. about Aston Villa real quickly yeah. before we move on. Poor Roy, Roy Keane yeah. quitting Villa. What do you make of that? Nah, I, he says he wants to concentrate on Ireland but come on how often are you actually with Ireland mate it's crazy it, any thoughts on that he's done it he's done it before <laughs> yeah, yeah I know he does it he does it that's his, that's his thing you just get you think he's gonna stay but then he just leaves my my personal opinion something's happened there man once he has had obviously he's had the taste for being a manager mm. being the number one guy I don't think Roy Keane's the type of bloke that will be number two to anyone. He can see Villa. Because how bad were they doing before they won today? They were, Awful. what, five, six losses, you know? Yeah. They, they were doing terrible. Hadn't had a win in over a month. You know, I saw a funny meme. It's like, um, Aston Villa had to cancel the goal of the month because they hadn't scored a goal. That wasn't, that wasn't meme. That was Yeah, no, fun. I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, Hilarious, man. So Roy Keane wanted things to change, wanted things done his way. Obviously, couldn't let that happen with... Uh, 
Phil Lambert at the um, Paul Lambert, Paul Lambert at the uh, helm. So he thought, you know what, I just can't take enough of this. I'm leaving. Yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah. So really reasonable and probably likely, man. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind Roy Keane being back in the Premier League as the number one coach. Yeah. But um, we'll see what, how how that pans out. And uh, West Ham getting another victory Shit, against man. West Brom, who are falling off. Yeah, Sam Allardyce doing well. Yeah, if Berahino doesn't, Berahino or Sessegnon don't do anything, or West Brom... Let's be real, I think Berahino was a little bit of a flash in the pan, maybe. Yeah. He's young, yeah. he's good, but I don't think he's the all kind that. of striker. He's not all that. Yeah, yeah he's, exactly, he's not all that. You don't put him in the, you know, the Sturridge or Welbeck kind of category for me. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, uh, let's talk about United, Edgar. Yes. That's what the people have come to see, majority. United, how did it go? No Wayne Rooney, no Di Maria. Uh, yeah, well, look, it's a really slow start, man. It's um, been feeling like that lately. Um, you know, real average lineup. Uh, I was worried when I seen the lineup. No Di Maria, no Rooney. I thought Rooney would be good to go. So did I. So did I. I thought um, we all knew Di Maria wasn't yeah, going to play. Yeah, no, Di Maria, simple. Um, you don't take a chance on that. Apparently, his wife said on Instagram a little slight hamstring tear yeah, yeah. should be back yeah. uh, against the Scousers. Uh, but um, yeah, that's that's the news on De Maria. Yeah, because um, if it was any worse, man, he would have dropped like a sack of crap. Like you know, you tear a hamstring, you torn a hamstring. Man. Oh, mate, you'd be out for weeks. Yeah, you're down, mate. You're down. But um, yeah, look, luckily it wasn't anything too bad. And um, who was your uh, man of the match this morning, Hager? My man of the match, Chris Smalling. Yeah, he was amazing. Chris he was Smalling, amazing. Mate. Uh, I think I gave my man of the match to Ashley Young. Yeah, yeah, he was fantastic. Simply well, because he had a great game. Oh. I know his crosses weren't all that flash, being on the, the left, left side. Foot, man, really. Yeah, but mate, he single-handedly took United on his shoulders yeah. and then got us the three points. Yeah, oh, Who thought I'd be saying that about, yeah. that about Ashley Young? Yeah, man. And, <laughs> and you know what, Marilyn Fellaini is staking his claim, man. Marilyn Fellaini. I never thought I'd say it, but man, I'm actually enjoying watching Marilyn Fellaini, man. Is he a uh, Ballon d'Or contender? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the form he's in this season, it's like, honestly, I've never seen him that good no. at Everton. No. Like, I think this, like, I'm not I'm not getting my hopes up. I think this is a bit of a flash in the pan because the form's been too good lately. Like, I'm just waiting for it to dip yeah. personally. But, um, you know, if you can keep playing this way, hey, yeah, you know, well, prove this, me wrong. This is what Fellaini was brought in for, but whether he can carry that on, we'll see. Huh? Yeah, so uh, anyways, let's get on to uh, Liverpool, Chris. Good 3-1 victory at Leicester. Bit nervous at the start when uh, Leicester took the lead. Yeah, it was, I was a bit nervous when uh, when they took the lead. It was good to see some character for a change in coming coming from behind. Yeah. Um, and it was good to see Gerard playing more more an advanced role. Yeah. And they they're saying it was his best game of the season so far. Yeah. So also happy to see Lallana on the score sheet. And uh, Jordan Henderson popping up again with another goal. So. Yeah. yeah. He's been magnificent lately for Liverpool. Yeah. Oh, yeah if one player's been consistent, it's been Jordan Henderson. Yeah, the... Um, what's it called? Um, Brendan Rodgers said today in the interview after the game that giving um, Gerard that rest really helped his performance today. So... Yeah, now he's got, a, he's got a decision to make whether he rests him again this weekend and saves him for the Champions Basel. League. Basel. Yeah. Give us, talk about Basel. Let's talk yeah. about the Champions League. I think you should rest Gerard um, this weekend. We've got Sunderland at home. Rest the good players, you reckon? Not just Gerard. Maybe Gerard. I think it looks like Sterling needs a needs a rest as well. Um, you got they're not, the depth is not in good form, but you got the depth. I think you, you should be able to bring the, a team that yeah. can beat Sunderland at Anfield. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you should the way they're going. Maybe not, but yeah. You know, and then and then they got a more important game coming up against Basel. That game will be massive for their confidence yeah. if they can win that game. Yeah. Yeah. Break That's a huge game, Basel. I, that... can't, I can't see them winning that game against Basel. Is that home. Basel away? Or... It's at Anfield. No, it's at Anfield but, oh, but you got to win that, man. Simple. Yeah. So, I don't know. The so, way... if you win, obviously you go through? Yeah. yeah. And if you draw? draw they go through. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Basel goes that's, through. That's full stop, man. Liverpool must win. Anfield's going to be rocking for no, that game. Well, that's going to yeah, that's going to be a real big game. That's why I think I should um, go gung ho for that game. Like maybe just leave the big guns on the bench against um, Sunderland. Against Sunderland, and then against Basel, just go for broke, man. Let's quickly talk about the Champions League for a second. All right. Obviously, United's not in it this year. I'm confident we're going to be back next year. But anyways, cool. Champions League group stage. All right. Let me ask this question to you guys. All right. Is it a waste of time? What do you mean, having nah. a knockout? you got to earn it, mate. 
You gotta earn it. Earn it again. Okay. All right. Remember those words. You gotta earn it. Yeah. Manchester City are gonna qualify through to the next round with only having one win. Well, it's simple. The other teams haven't been good enough. Look at one win, and you can still go through to the round of sixteen. That that for me the group. Roma, man. Yeah, but Roma's not good enough. Cisco Moscow isn't good enough. You know, you gotta win as well. They haven't won. But my point being, that's it's not about the teams. It's about the structure. Yeah, horrible stat. Yeah, I know. For me. Qualifying on one win yeah, it's embarrassing. is terrible. It's, it's, a joke. it's terrible. Yeah. Are yeah. you happy with the, the way? Because I'm obviously a big United fan. Sir Alex Ferguson always used to treat the uh, group stages like the Capital One Cup games. Yeah. Always used to give the youth players a, a go. You know, we might lose a game, but you know, if it came uh, at the end, he'll just chuck in uh, the big boys and uh, chuck in the first team. We'll get a win, and we're through to the to, yeah, the, but, the final sixteen. Yeah. But the group stages for me, it, it's a, it's becoming a ball fest. Like there's there's nothing really to look forward to. There might be the odd game throughout the whole two days. Yeah, I have if, to agree. I, I find the games there's there's not many not many good teams. No, exactly. Like on paper, uh, we haven't been good enough anyway to like we should on paper we should be smashing those teams, but. You look to, when I look at the fixture and I see Liverpool versus Ludogorets, I don't really look forward to that. You know? Exactly, exactly. And you're in the Champions League this year. Yeah, but and I've only watched basically the Real Madrid games. The other ones, I because of work and all that, I didn't watch them. But there's nothing. They don't really interest me that much anyway. They don't, do they? I kind of just hope we get through, and then and then hopefully we. It gets yeah. better, the football gets better. Now, let me ask this. Let me propose this to you because there's been a lot of talk about this, and I'm all for this way. Okay. Champions League, okay, still have the 32 teams, okay? Now, to make every single game much, much more exciting, just have knockout from the get-go. Have 32 teams, then every single game will be a final. No, I don't think that works just from a financial point of view. They, they want to milk it as much as possible, so I don't... I need to see like an actual structure, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, but don't forget, not having the group games, okay? Yeah. You're gonna get more money per game anyway, so financially you yeah. will be covered. It sounds cool on paper, but um, and if the teams get knocked out, where do they go? In yeah, you well, exactly. yeah, you too many. There's a lot of little chinks to work out there, but yeah, it's a good idea. Well, that's how the UEFA Cup used to be. If you remember, before yeah. it was the Europa League. Yeah. But it's all about now it's TV rights. Yeah, like, yeah that's they, the other they've got to play a lot more games to keep. Yeah, because let's be real, the Champions League doesn't even get good to the quarterfinals. You know, yeah. even the last 16 is a bit of a ball fest. Yeah. There might be one big game, you know, in the, the round of 16. The last eight, that's when it gets good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I just think it's because some of the leagues are suffering, like in terms of like Serie A is not that good anymore. Yeah. You know, the French league's piss poor. Yeah. The Spanish league and English league are probably the only two. I wouldn't, I reckon the English league yeah. piss poor as well. Yeah. I'd say as well. Apart from Chelsea. Yeah. yeah the that's it. Friends are shit. Well, yeah. let's talk about this, all right? Let's and talk the about this. League's fantastic. Too. All right, people always say the Spanish league is always better than the Premier League. Okay, mm. I I I don't know if I'll agree with that or not. Okay, yes, I do believe if Real Madrid, okay, and Barcelona come to the Premier League, I'd romp it, man. That'd be one and two. Okay, but all the other teams, I reckon, would be nothing mid-table, special. Mid-table, yeah, absolutely. yeah, they, they, they'll be just as good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's just my opinion. See, every, everyone says like, "Oh, look how tight the league is in Spain." But all these middle teams can—they all beat each other. Do you know what I mean? It's not yeah. like yeah, the Premier League. The thing I love about the Premier League, and you guys probably might agree with me here, any team, any team can beat Absolutely. any team on their day. Absolutely. Where in the Spanish league, won't happen. What's that? Yeah. Real Madrid, sixteen wins in a row yeah. now. Yeah, Sit- but I, I, Chelsea is the same at the moment. I reckon if you put Real Madrid and Barcelona in the Premier League. I think Chelsea would be right up there with them. They won't romp the league. Yeah, but what what I'm saying is, a Sunderland might beat uh, Barcelona on yeah, their day. Whereas if, if Ibar play Real Madrid ten times, they'll lose ten times. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You know, it, it's a massive gap yeah. in that league. Yeah. When the Premier League, far United almost lost to Stoke yeah, this morning. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Like Real Madrid don't really have. And, and every round serves up a new shock, man. Yeah, it definitely does. It doesn't happen in Spain. Yeah. But anyways, lads, let's get back to the Premier League, alright? Let's yes. talk about the last week, okay? Yep. Massive, massive results. Alright, United, we beat Hull 3-0. And 
Fantastic. Great win for United. Fantastic. That game. I thought we, that was probably one of our best performances I all season. Our best performance, full stop. Yeah. And Liverpool grabbing a vital win against Stoke. Glenn Johnson had all people, Chris. Grabbing the winner. Like in the 90th minute too? Yeah. Was it? About 88, 89. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give us your thoughts about Liverpool in that game. Oh, well, it, was, it, was a good, it was a good win because they had to grind out. They had to really... In the second half, they showed a lot of heart. Like yeah, they were really, really digging in. Yeah, you know that's that's what you because need be- when your be- confidence is yeah. down. Yeah. Before this game against Stoke, there was a lot, a lot of questions about Brendan Rodgers leading yeah. up to this game. Even I was questioning too. I thought, I thought he had to. He was very. He was on the edge of getting a sack, and I still yeah. think I lost the buzzle. And um, see you later, Brendan. Do you reckon? Yeah, he's in trouble. He's made some some decisions that I don't that I don't agree with. Like yeah, persisting with Lovren so many times after so many shocking performances, and playing and and Lallana getting playing a good game, and then the next game he's he's not even on the bench, he's not even coming on. And uh, some of the decisions they've, they've really just from last season when everything was going right. Now, yeah, everything. Brendan Rogers does make a lot of out of the ordinary yeah. decisions doesn't he he does it quite often it's, it's cool if it pays off but it doesn't lately like he, he starts all these plays you never even heard of like that Australian last season you know yeah. like that was strange even yeah. Raheem Sterling the way he got his debut remember his first game against City at home do you remember that like that was like mind blowing for me yeah, yeah. <laughs> but- he does a lot of those strange decisions but in saying this this time last, oh, not even Probably six months ago, we were talking about Brendan Rodgers, probably the best manager in the Premier yeah, League. But for me, like last season, that Liverpool team picked itself every single week. It did. You could, you oh, could predict it, man. It did. But because yeah, it was just running that smooth, it was a steamroller, man. Bang, bang, every week. And not no Champions League, nothing. Literally yeah, yeah, seven yeah, days for yeah, the next game. Yeah, full stop. I don't think that makes. I don't know. I don't think that makes a difference. I think the biggest difference is that Suarez and Sturridge yeah, are both out. Definitely. But we we lose so much. You lose so much on the counter when you've just got like you got Lambert by himself yeah. up front. And last year the runners were Suarez and Sturridge yeah. just going nuts. The only true pace you have is Sterling. And it brings Coutinho into the game and players like that who mm. can. That Coutinho intricate can't, passing. Coutinho can't play with Lambert. No, no man. Because Coutinho is he's he, what is his strength? Is his through balls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, he, one touch passing. But with Lambert there, that's, doesn't you know, work. Man. Doesn't work. And and now Sterling's being driven wide because Lambert's in the middle. It doesn't work. I don't know. Big problems there, man. Well, you know, he ha- he has been doing well, Lambert. To be fair to him. Yeah, oh, he man. has. Yeah, been doing yeah, yeah, well, but that's why we're grinding out results because we're having to rely on. Opportunities like that, taking the ball wide, and yeah, no clear cut chances anymore. I've watched like the last probably the last five games. With in every game, we average like one clear cut chance. Yeah, that's that was the worry I had for United last season. It wasn't that we weren't like getting many goals. Yeah. It was we weren't having we're chances. Anything, that's when it times it. What were you gonna say about Liverpool? Yeah, so the last episode that we recorded, well, well that we didn't work. That unfortunately, we didn't work for that. Out. I'm not sure if you asked the question again. Oh, but I can't was, remember. Is Brendan Rogers overrated? But, yes. Is so I want to ask you the guys that question again a month on. Yeah. Have your answers? Well, changed I asked them? that question. Yeah, yeah. I was the one that. Yeah, no, I'm up. saying I want. Oh, all right. Um, <laughs> you go, Chris. you have this, your answer changed. This is for you, mate. No, oh, I don't know. I don't think he's overrated. I still, I still want him to be with the Liverpool manager because I think to to sack him now, it's just a bit like. He's been unlucky with 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 Sturridge. It's yeah. just I reckon that's just a massive Shield loss it, for us. And and still, we it's not and it's not the end of the end of the world. We're only four points off. What is it? Top four? Yeah, you know, it's still close. Very close. Yeah, yeah, close. We could beat United in two weeks at Old Trafford and and, and back it. on level terms again. Yeah, yeah. You know, it doesn't take much. Yeah. Um, if you had that question a month ago, I would probably say maybe he is overrated. Because he set the standard, mm. but a month later, all those losses, the standards dropped. I'll probably say he's not overrated because <laughs> <laughs> not being funny, but that's just the way football yeah. works. Yeah, definitely. Like when the Premier League started, yeah, Van Hal undefeated preseason king. When we lost our what, first couple of games and drawing, Leicester is a clown. Mate, yeah, you know Leicester, yeah. Van Hal, you know, is another Moyes. Everyone's comparing Moyes yeah. and Van Hal. But now look at four wins on a try. Yeah. Everyone is back on that pedestal. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's mate, the Premier League, mate. Football. It's 
It's a weird game, isn't it? What was Fergie saying? Football. Bloody yeah, hell. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyways, let's talk about our game against Hull. Yeah. Okay. Um, De Maria going off after not even 10, 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Um, Bit of a worry. Yeah, Klaus been on that hammy. Um, initially, I thought, oh no, how, how long have we lost him for? But it doesn't look too bad right now. You could tell he went off early. Yeah. So. But, man, also Herrera came on, wasn't it? Herrera came he was on. fantastic. Man. Probably man of the match for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Definitely. And yeah. um, that opening goal from Smalling, can it get any more scrappy, mate? Mate, you went... <laughs> today, yeah. against Leicester, oh, yeah. was Ashley Young saved the ball by an inch. No, Stoke. So, so Stoke. Yeah. By an inch today. I went in by an inch. Yeah. Smalling's goal <laughs> went in by an inch. That's how close the goals have been in Old Trafford. Goal long technology is definitely Here's getting... Day, it's getting for its run. <laughs> it's run for money uh, at Old Trafford. Don't worry about that. But uh, I thought I thought we played well that game. Rooney yeah. bossed it. Oh, man. He was looking vicious every time on the ball, man. Oh, Wayne Rooney, mate. Ugh. When he got that pay rise a few years ago, we were thinking, oh, my gosh. You know, he's... He's walking all over our club, but yeah. now we're holding on to him. Yeah. Just how much do you want? We'll pay it to you. <laughs> you know, I was saying to my brother, I'm like, any time Wayne Rooney has gotten into form, any year, yeah. he's always copped an injury, whether it's serious or not. Yeah. But I was saying to my brother the other day, I'm like, I'm like just wait for that injury, Rooney. Yeah. And then bang, we've seen him go down. Yeah. Well, lucky for us, it wasn't a real injury. Yeah. But that that second goal, the, the one where he just curled in between the two defenders. Oh, far out, mate. Mickey, that was nice. Mate. though. All right, now let's talk about Arsenal, all right? Got a 1-0 win against yeah. West Brom. Danny Wilbeck getting the goal. Bit lucky, Foster should have been saving yeah. that. But um, before that, lads, we beat, uh, United beat Liverpool, um, Arsenal at the Emirates 2-0, 2-1, sorry. And uh, before this game against West Brom, all the talk was about Arsene Wenger, in or out, because uh, a lot of Arsenal fans were... You know, saying, you know, thanks for the memories, but I think it's time for you to go, Arsene. Mm. Yeah, they had the banner at West Brom. Yeah. 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 Thank Pretty... you, but it's time to go. Something yes. Like that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, what are your opinions on Arsene Wenger? Should he stay? Should he go? I'm sitting on the fence because I think he should stay purely because I don't, I can't see who's going to replace him. You know, if it's, everyone's saying Klopp, 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 but he doesn't want to leave, mate, so... If Klopp doesn't come, who... Not even Klopp wants to leave, okay? Yeah. Dortmund aren't even yeah. doing that good. Yeah. They're doing terrible this season. But that's the thing. Klopp's an honourable man. And I, right wanted Klopp, like I wanted Klopp for United, yeah? yeah? so did I. But a fact that not many people know, did you know he got relegated in the Bundesliga before? No, not, not, not many people know that. People just know him up to the point where he was doing well with Mainz. And not even then, people just know him as all of a sudden, oh, Dortmund. Yeah, so he's doing a bit of a, a Brendan Rodgers like last year, yeah. you know? So, I don't know, but I'd like to talk about Pep Guardiola as well, coming to um, Arsenal. Why? He's just killing it at Bain. I, I'll, got, tell you, I'll tell you right now. He's got unfinished business at Bain. Got, Pep Guardiola one. will not be going to no, Arsenal. The team's not, not built up. No. Pep Guardiola goes to teams that are complete and finished and ready for him to take over. Yeah. I've never seen Pep Guardiola build a team. That's true. I don't think... He said, I've heard this quote, he wouldn't mind taking over United after Louis van Gaal. Why is that? Because he's got, Louis Van Gaal's going to do all the dirty work and build yeah. a squad for him to take over. I don't know. I still got big question marks over. Yeah, he hasn't been truly tested. I, I I respect him as a manager. Any manager that wins the La Liga, Champions League, but yeah. come on, just have a look at the squads he's managed Messi, and managed. Look at the team he's got now. Gavi, Robin, the, Ribery, the team he's got now is probably the best in the world with Real yeah. Madrid. Easy, easy. You know so. Arsenal, Arsene Wenger, I'm not too sure. Uh, it's good to see Danny Wolbeck doing all right. You know, no surprises there from oh, me. Yeah, all of a sudden all the Arsenal fans love him, huh? Oh, yeah. He's that guy now. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cute, cute, man. You know, um, but for me, the same problem. I said this at the start of the season. They've just got way too many players who are exactly same the one, same. Yeah. Mate, my God, Lexi Sanchez, Ozil, Walcott, Champlin. Is it Sanchez, as much as I... Like not liking Arsenal at the minute, Sanchez is probably the best player in the Premier League yeah, on par with Aguero. Yeah, my easy. opinion. Yeah, that's a good shout. You know, so uh, in saying all that, um, they are they are getting by. And if it wasn't for Liverpool, the chopping block for Arsene Wenger could be a lot closer. Yeah, but sure. because Liverpool are failing at the minute, 
Arsenal look like they are again going to reach that fourth spot. Mm. Yeah, Tottenham aren't looking too flashy, but as usual. Oh, Tottenham are just the same team year in, year yeah. out, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on with Tottenham. So, yeah. So, what do you reckon, Chris? Arsene Wenger, in or out? I think it's almost time for him to leave yeah. Um, yeah. the Yeah. Because all the, all the talk was about Arsene Wenger is going to build a stadium. He hasn't got the money. But, yeah. mate, they've had this stadium I mean, how long now? It's sorted now, mate. You, you know? know? Like, look at uh, Bayern Munich. They paid for the, they've paid this stadium, which was meant to be 19 years. They've done it in six years, and look at the squad they've got. Unbelievable. Man. So I don't yeah. think I think Arsene Wenger's running out of excuses. Uh, now. I remember there was this big promotional video for Arsenal at the start of the season, saying how they had to pay this off, how they had to scrap and try to stay in the top four. You know what's the excuse now, mate? You know, yeah. Is it the tight ass owners? I don't know, but yeah. For me, I see I see Arsenal fans bragging on about yes. For the seventeenth time or the fifteenth time, yeah. we've consecutive qualified the for the Champions League. League. Okay, well done. What's your trophy, get, mate? Get a clap. You do not do anything beyond that point. So exactly. yes, it's a good achievement of consistently doing that. But why are you bragging about it? You're bragging about something that you've never actually gone on to win. So exactly. it's a bit of a fa- it's a bit embarrassing that you've qualified fifteen times and you've never gone on to win it. That's just my opinion. Like Liverpool won it six times. All right. When's the last time you qualified for the Champions League before this time? You know? Uh, Exactly. (laughs) You haven't done it consistently, but you've won it, what, five times? Yeah, yeah? exactly. United. All right, we haven't made it this year, but we've won our fair share. We've been there about, man, every time. Yeah, exactly. Arsenal, you made the final once. Arguably, they got ripped off in that final. Yeah. That red card. But hey, man. That's football. Anyways, let's, let's talk about Manchester City. All right, and Chelsea. Actually, let's just talk quickly about Chelsea. All right, they've won the league. You got any saying? Nah. I think sports bet. All right, sports bet are actually paying out already uh, their bets for winning the title this season. <laughs> Did you hear that fact? No, nah, they're not sure. Bit crazy, yeah. but that's what I heard. Anyways, Look, I know all of a sudden Chelsea's dropped one game, and everyone's like, "Oh, the title race is back on." But for me, Chelsea nah. still have it won, man. Nah, they still have it won. It's done and dusted. We're yeah. playing for second here, aren't we? Yeah. And talking about second. Is Manchester City going to get second spot? Yeah, at this point, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm thinking City's still going to get there. Yeah, I, I, I have to agree too. City, uh, even though Pellegrini is a terrible manager, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, they're going to get second spot. Aguero just single-handedly just uh, getting the wins for City, personally. Absolutely. They're going to be in big trouble when he gets injured, in yeah. my opinion. And he, he's a man of glass, man, so... Yeah. Just count down the seconds before he gets injured. All right. Now, let's talk about... Let's give each other questions. All right, lads. Um, Chris, this one's for you. Mario Bellatelli, thoughts on him so far? Um, just waste. At the moment, it's a waste. It's just... When you've got a player that doesn't score and gets injured, you can't really say much more than it's just been a waste of money. Yeah, I, I thought maybe it was a chance for him to to get make something out of his career, but I honestly, honestly, I honestly thought this is it. Yep, he's gonna do it now. Yep. this is the club. The it's fairy the, tale. It's the perfect match. He will do it now. That's what I genuinely thought. and he still can. We're, well, yeah. we're only a few months into his uh, contract, but mm. far it looks far from it, doesn't it? Because yeah. did he get dropped or is he injured? He's injured at the moment. He did get dropped, but he's injured at the moment. He got yeah. injured playing for Italy. Training for him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just stay home. So, we'll oh, that's what he did too, didn't he? Yeah, that's we'll right. See, we'll give him. More, I'm going to give him a chance till Sturridge comes back and they can start playing together. If Sturridge ever comes back, gives him another one. Wow, it's Daniel Sturridge, poor bloke. He just keeps getting yeah. injured and injured. And he's out to next year now. Yeah. Well. January, I heard. Yeah, probably January. Something like that. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> um. Alright, now I got on a few. So I, saw, I uh, think you retweeted today that. Real Madrid have turned down the chance to sign Chicharito. All right. If AS Monaco came and said, all right, this is the deadline for Falcao today. Tell us if you want him now or not. Do you take him or do you send him back? Take him. Yeah? Yeah. You? Elaborate. Uh, the reason, well, he's. we all knew he's coming back from this long ACL, ACL. knee yeah. injury. All right. So when he came back, okay, we all knew the facts that it was mm. going to take time. I don't think yet, to date, okay, he has played 90 minutes for United. No. Van Hal is being so careful with him, he is slowly bringing him back. Slowly. And you can see that, yeah? 
he unfortunately he had that one hiccup where he mm. missed how many games? Three. Three games or something like that. I can't wait to see when he's fit, he can play 90 games, and he's yep. raring to go. Hell, he doesn't even have to play 90, ga- uh, 90 minutes. I just want to see him full flight, ready to go, mm. games under his belt, used to the Premier League, like like Aguero. Yeah. Aguero doesn't run out 90 minutes, but, mate, he can score goals and he, mm. he can impact. Yeah, you saw against Hull when he rolled that defender and oh. he should have scored. Mate, Matt, and you've seen it against Leicester when he was a few yeah. games in and he hit the post and the crossbar. Yeah. That beautiful that cross. Volley. Mate, he looks... You can see you talent can see in signs. him. You can see you know, Where Hernandez... Mm. What, what else do you offer? <sighs> you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he's killing it for Real Madrid now. But, yeah, mate, you're a super sub. And yeah, unfortunately, exactly. that's it, mate. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Would you blame yeah. Falcao? If you're a United man. I don't know, man. <laughs> Like knee injuries, it takes yeah. a long time for a player to recover. Yeah, well, everyone says you need a year, so you could probably um, shed some light on that. Yeah, like man, oh, mine was ten years. <laughs> mine never been the same, but I'm not. I don't have the doctors that they had. Yeah, yeah but yeah. still mentally, like it just takes a long time to you can, especially when you're a striker and you got to turn. And you know, who knows? I hope I'm not going to be like a you know I just want to celebrate an injury. I hope he comes. <laughs> <laughs> and gets to form, yeah, because I, I, I don't know what it's like to go through that knee injury. It's it's one of the worst things you can ever go through. Oh, it probably is, isn't it? You yeah. know, when you got sure, man. my example, like you can't even shower yourself. You got to like you got you got to get your missus to do everything for you. You know, you can't even do anything for yourself for like two, three weeks. Then you got to think, am I? Ever, you lose so much muscle mass in your leg. Yeah. It takes you probably ne- you never get that muscle mass back. Yeah, you know. So he's probably playing. He's, he's flimsy. He's probably legs probably flimsy still. You know. Mm. So yeah, so uh, what about you, Edgar? Would you would you sign him? Yeah, definitely at this point. Yeah, I- I'm thinking it's still know, early. I'm thinking long term. It's, it, it's a bit early. It's yeah. a bit early for that question. Yeah, I, I think United could still sign him because the, they're not really in a situation where they have got to worry about money as much. Oh, you, the money we're spending, you wouldn't think so, would you? No, nah, well, that's, that's right. Like they got yeah. money, yeah. Like even the the big four, they can take those risks. Yeah? Okay, now we've got some questions for you, Chris. All right, you're Brendan Rodgers now. All right, you're I'm Santa Claus. Okay, two players you would want me to sign, or you should sign that I would deliver for you in January for Liverpool. Who would you want, realistically? So don't say I like Messi and Ronaldo, because, and you'd be thinking that two for United as well. Two players that we need, realistically. I don't know. But I'm not going to say players. Because I don't know who's out there, but, or, okay. but Liverpool need a central defensive midfielder of quality. I think all sorry to cut you off there. All big clubs need that, except City and Chelsea. No, I think City as well, man. They only got company. No, no, no. He's talking defensive midfielder. Oh, okay, sorry. We're we talking um, yeah, centre backs. No, yeah, they got yeah, yeah, two of them, man. As shit as I, as as Lovren is, and I and I'll say that like. He's not he's not covered by a, a central defensive midfielder. Yeah, and that can make your defenders look worse. Yeah, yeah Schneiderlin a lot worse. Yeah, oh, Schneiderlin's br- actually mate. Schneid- I'd have to say probably Schneid- if I'm going to say a name. Yeah, I'd say Schneiderlin. But How that's good- another Southampton player. We can't <laughs> we can't keep taking players off there. Southampton, uh, and then they'll finish on top if we take him. <laughs> and um, I'd say another striker because oh another one. Sturridge is made of glass. You got Brainy, man. Line, hey, but- they got Brainy. It's all good. Barini, who you got? Barini, Lambert, Balotelli, Sturridge. They're the four, aren't they? Am I missing anyone? And then Origi when he comes. Oh, oh yeah. Would you get? Would you call him back early? No, I'm not allowed to. So yeah, you're not allowed to. No. You're allowed to, but they You have to pay not, money or something. Breaking yeah, the calls, that, yeah. I think that would be worrying them. But it just, it's in his fee that it's in his agreement that if if they buy him before yeah. the loan runs out, they got to pay double. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, two players they got for United. Yeah, I was actually um, struggling to think of that. Um, no obviously, I, I still want Vidal, man. So do I. I still want Vidal. Yeah. And, um, you know, I want to say Hummels, but realistically, you said. So, um, oh, yeah, I'm going to say centre-back with a, with a question mark. On any it. names? Any names? Names, not name. I, names. I, I love Gerard Pico, honestly, to come yeah. back. That little fairy tale, you know, back to United. Yeah, this talks Story about him. Out. He's not un- he's unsettled at Barca. He is, man. Yeah, he's not getting much game time. That Matthew and Mascherano are playing centre. Apparently, back. I heard a rumor that um, Shakira likes England. <laughs> for Marlon, who hasn't played a game for yeah. Barcelona yet, is out for the season. Oh. 
And he's, uh, yeah, talks that he's not going to play a game for Barcelona. Worked out nicely for us then. Yeah, so I guess we, yeah, I guess we were pretty lucky Close in that department. Board. Yeah, but um, I don't know. I think United, my the two players who I would get is definitely, um, I don't know, it's hard. I We do got Di Maria, but I think we need wingers. I think we're short yeah. of quality wingers. Maybe a Memphis Depay could be the man, you know, or Quadrado. Uh, that would be a good buy. He's heavily linked with United. Well, it was all summer, anyways. Um, I'd like Memphis to pay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you got to say defenders, don't you? Yeah. I just don't... I, I wouldn't... Ron Vlaar, I'd take him. I wouldn't oh, want him. Long? He's not world class. Yeah. Not and, but there's talks about Godin as well. Yeah, Godin, yeah. He's, he's class. But he's old as well. Yeah, he's 32. You know? Plus. Like, I, I'd like... They're good players, you know, but... I don't know. It's longevity. You're not going to get it out of him. Okay. Now, th- my second question to you guys. You've got to pick two players you must sell from your club. Mm. And don't say like Anderson and that. Say players who are in and out the first team or first team quality. Well, Anderson was the first <laughs> <laughs> Because if I had to pick for Manchester United... Yeah, okay. Evans. All right. Well, would you even say his first... Yeah, all right. I would say number one. He's in and out, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, Evans. Evans would be one. Do you have any? Probably Valencia. Yeah, for who? Valencia's been fantastic, mate. I don't, I'm don't. i not a fan of Valencia. Okay, know. let me ask you this. Raphael's injured, Valencia sold. Who's your backup for right back? Vanille. He hasn't even played yeah. for United. Yeah, he will, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to have to. We haven't got none. Yeah. You're selling them all. <laughs> uh, who would you sell, sorry? For who? For Liverpool? Barini and Glenn Johnson. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good the, shout. The match winners? <laughs> match day winners? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Barini. Apparently there's talk that Sunderland are still after Barini. They can have him. Like, <laughs> I, I don't mind him, but I think he should be playing. But if he's going to sit there on the bench, get rid of him. What, what, if you're not going to play him. Rodgers has bought him twice. So why isn't he going to give him a run? Oh, that's true as well. You know, And Johnson, to Can't me, dirty him. doesn't matter if he scores the next 10 winners, mate. He's got to go. Yeah, that's true. He's been, yeah. Even off the back end of last season when he was doing so well. Yeah. He's miles off the pace, yeah. Yeah. He just keeps giving the ball away, gets caught out, doesn't track. It's, I, think, I think it's just confidence for Glenn Johnson. It's just... Uh, how long? He's been... Rock bottom, mate. He's been out of confidence for two seasons now. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, uh... You I got, thought he was alright last season. Uh, the back end of last yeah. season, you could see... It, you can see definitely, um... Things started to happen. But anyways, you got anything, guys, you want to add to the show? Yeah, so, ended? um... Southampton. So they play Arsenal by the time this comes out, I believe. Yes. Oh, they'll. No. Yeah. Yep. So and they just been beaten by City. I think after that we play them. Yeah, we play them so, next. So do you guys think that this is the beginning of the end of the fairy tale for Southampton? Um. Do you still? Common sense would say you would have to think so. Yeah. So would you? Are they top four? No. No. No way. No. Sorry. That's just my opinion, yeah. Chris. Chris Todd. Top four, probably not, but I don't think this fairy tale will end. I think it's, it's just been too good for it to end. I think they can probably push. I think Europa? seventh for them. Europa? Six or seventh for them is a fairy tale season. Oh, yeah, Especially I think. After what they've been through, the money. Yeah, well, everyone tipped them for relegation. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think they can, uh, well, for Europa League. The word is that uh, the president's offered Kuman 50 or 60 million to spend in January oh. to make sure that they get there. But Champions yeah. League. Really? Yeah. Who are they going to buy? That would be my number one question. Yeah, absolutely. You know, don't get me wrong, there's a few players that I like. Lovren. <laughs> yeah, Lovren, Lambert. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> they could easily go out and buy someone similar to Pelle, someone similar to Teddy. It's like unknown, no names. Ah, yeah, well, that's true who as knows, well. Who knows? Um, yeah, Schneiderlin, he's key to that team. He's, absolutely. He's massive. I know they took, we took Luke Shaw and the Lambert and all. It, they got raided, basically. But for me, the number one player stayed there. Yeah. Schneiderlin. Uh, Arsenal didn't get him, man. Arsenal didn't get him. Um, mate, I think every team's after him now. Yeah. I've always said, mate, the most important player is of a team is the one that controls the tempo. Yeah. Keeps the team ticking. He's unbelievable, mate. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Yeah, he, working, and he was... Goals. Before he got injured against City, he was amazing. He, mm. was, he was fantastic. Him going off is what changed the game. Mm. And uh, unfortunately, they got... Um, they, uh, they went down to 10 men and they lost. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, you guys got any uh, anything else you want to add before the uh, show ends? No, man, I think it's a good show. Yeah, okay. so um, unfortunately, guys, we couldn't answer your questions because we had to rush the show, unfortunately. But uh, make sure you go and check out um, 
the coin sponsor I've linked down below. Um, FIFA coin FIFACoinsale. FIFACoinsale.com, sorry, I forgot to mention it. Um, very, very cheap. And I'm not just saying that. Go and compare prices. They are ridiculously cheap. Yep. I'll be on there buying coins, 100%. I am on there buying coins. Yeah, they're real cheap as well. So um, go check them out. Links in the description. And don't forget, lads, get your questions in for the next seven show. Uh, ask us any question you want, but keep it Premier League related and common sense related. Don't ask questions like, oh, who's your favorite player and stuff like that. Keep it common sense. But anyways, lads, that's going to wrap up another episode for the seven show. So if you could do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so uh, you can get more seven show coverage. But until then, lads, say goodbye. Take care, guys. Take care, lads.